Uh, my name is Marjorie Hudson, and I've been had dogs for 40 years. The first time I took a dog to a chiropractor, he was a human chiropractor, but that was all we had back in the 70s. And now I can't imagine not taking a puppy when I first got them into my hands to a chiropractor. Hopefully one that is a human chiropractor who had who had become a dog chiropractor, because I just think they know more about um, chiropractic. But puppies have a lot of traumas in their birth, and particularly in the atlas and the lower back. So going to a chiropractor with a puppy, I think you get things straightened out before they start to compensate for the problems. And I take my dogs now as they're a little older. Um, I take them once a month because I think that keeps them far more comfortable and any compensation they have for problems in their structure is um, kept in check and I think they're far more comfortable. So I, I can't imagine not being able to take a dog to a chiropractor when something is amiss. And I've seen miracles happen where they walk, barely can walk in and they come out just as happy as they were before a trauma. And with my current Doberman, she had a lick granuloma. And I don't believe we could have done anything about that until Amanda straightened out her structure so the nerves weren't discharging in, inappropriately. They scratch to get in. They just love to come to her. So they must know something too.